Gonna build a mountain from a little hill. Hey guys, and thank you so much for tuning into my channel. My name is The Lady Designer, and we are back with another speed build video of Malin Zoo in sandbox mode. And make sure to subscribe, of course, if you already haven't, and leave a like at the video if you guys enjoy. And in this episode, this is the very first time we are building a walk in habitat. And I'm very excited for this. This wasn't really planned, but I was looking at the park and I saw that Mike Sheets, who did I mean, the beautiful surroundings of the Japanese macaque habitat, and he left a few of these paths on the right section of the zoo. And I was thinking like, hmm, maybe I should build some kind of beautiful park or garden around it, something like that. And then I was like, no, wait a second. I could also make a walk in habitat with an animal. And then I was like, I think the Indian peafowl would definitely fit. I know it's not a super popular animal, but I just really wanted to try this out. I really love, they're super beautiful, but I, 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 I'm curious how you guys feel about the Indian peafowl not being super popular. It's like the same thing with the tortoise. Like you can definitely tell when I uploaded a video of a tortoise, no matter when it was, if it was in the beta, like the speed build videos I did or the let's play franchise mode during the beta. And the tortoise is just not as popular as most other animals. And I have the feeling it's a little bit the same with the Indian pea file, but then again, I just really hope you guys will like this and it will make you inspired to make something like this too in your own zoos. I just really love to use that Asian theme just one more time again in this area of the zoo because I, I just feel like the further away we go in the zoo, I don't really feel it completely fits to use this Asian theme too much. But then again, we also use it for the giant panda a little bit. So maybe we could just get away with it, just use it a little bit more. In the end, it is a Asian continent located tropical zoo of the franchise mode. No, it's not the franchise mode. What are you saying, lady? It's a sandbox park, but then again, it's still the tropical one in the Asian, on the Asian continent, I think, if I remember correctly. I hope so. Oh my God, I'm rambling. But okay, so you're looking at a building right now and I actually changed it a lot. And the reason for that is just because the lighting is exactly on the wrong side. So the front of this building just never gets any sunlight. So I wasn't happy with the roof at all. Unfortunately, I did lose a little bit of footage. That's why this video is a little bit shorter than normally. But hopefully you guys will still enjoy and I will leave you guys, of course, with a lot of cinematic shots. Talking about cinematic shots, in the last episode, we built the Timberwolves habitat and I totally forgot to add some cinematic shots of the Japanese macaque area on the other side, which we also finished during that episode. And I also got a lot of feedback about the Timberwolves cave where you guys were saying like, I think you should better call it Wolf Cave or something like that. So I did change that and also added the cinematic shots for that particular area just to show you guys that it has been changed and hopefully you guys will like that. I do have to say I'm really happy that I'm able to play again because it was so frustrating that because of the latest update I wasn't really able to start the game at first but now it does run better so after maybe three times restarting the game it will load so no more 10 times freezing of the menu or anything like that but hopefully they will fix it this week so we don't have have that issue at all with the game not starting properly so yeah I'm really excited to see that as you can see right now the sun is basically a little bit on the rooftop but that will change because of all the trees and stuff I put down so there's not that much sunlight anymore in the end on that building so yeah I just really had to change it in a later stage and this is kind of like the forge box and surrounding it with rocks I really like to do that and I did that too with the flamingos habitat. I basically just covered that whole feeding section with a lot of rocks because I just really like that to look 
a lot more natural and I do have to say it's so much fun to see the Indian peafowls just walking around and eating there and they're just so beautiful with the garden we've made for them and looking at the people the guests just looking at the pea files and it all feels so natural and I really think they did a great job with like people not really walking through the animals or vice versa so I think it really really works and I'm really excited to start experimenting with other animals like the ring-tailed lemur I think you can also make walking habitats for warthogs or pronghorns there are a few animals you can make a walk-in habitat for and there is actually a website made by a fan of planet zoo so it's not an official website but he did put in a lot of effort to create a website where you can just select the continent and and then see all the animals from that continent. You can select it for temperatures, you can select it for walk-in habitats, you can actually see how many animals you can have in that habitat. Obviously sometimes when there has been an update the website isn't completely accurate but he is totally on it to update that website as quickly as possible. It's super useful in my opinion so definitely if you're like looking for a quick way to find out things of where animals are coming from and you don't want to click all the animals one by one in the Zoopedia, definitely go and check that website out. It's in Dutch, it's in English and it's in German right now so hopefully that will help us a lot of you people and at least for me I have it like as one of my favorite pages so I can also always use it if I need it it's really useful but I honestly also feel that Planet Zoo should add something like that themselves because it's just really hard especially like when I had the early access and I was like okay I want all I want to know about all the Asian animals what are the animals from the Asian continent and I actually had to click all the animals one by one and write them down because there's just no option that you could just say like, okay, what are all the Asian animals? What are all the African animals? You can't really tell and well, my knowledge is not that well that I know that all by myself beforehand. So yeah, I need those kind of lists to help me out with those kind of things. So yeah, definitely go and check that website out. Uh, so yeah, we're already at the end of this speed build video. I'm very very sorry that it's a little bit shorter. Tomorrow we will be back with the Let's Play franchise mode and we will also get back with another tutorial. I might upload that one today. No, I don't. I think tomorrow. So stay tuned for that. If you need any help and you're new to Planet Zoo, go and check out my tutorials. Hopefully they are very helpful. And yeah, I just really hope to see you guys in the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye guys.